Good afternoon, everybody. This is Rich, and this is Beekeeping with Rich. I want to show you a couple of uh, things this afternoon. I just did a video on making propolis tincture, so while I'm still in the mad scientist mindset, I thought I'd show you a little trick that uh, I learned a year or so ago. Um, there are a lot of people who like to use a liquid smoke instead of a smoker when they're working bees. And if you're strictly going to use liquid smoke, well, this probably won't be of any use to you because you won't have a smoker handy. But if you're one of those people that sometimes uses smoke and sometimes might use the liquid smoke, well, then you get some use out of this. And everybody will get some use out of this because I'm going to show you how to clean your smoker without it being a huge pain, which most of the time it is. So here we have a well-used smoker. Here we have the inside of a well-used smoker. You know, mostly this cap up here. They get very, very thickly encrusted with tars and such, just like your chimney would. And uh, it is amazing how much can get piled up in there sometimes. But since I learned a few simple tricks, I no longer have much problem keeping mine pretty clean. And trick number one, you probably already noticed. Uh, you take a pair of needle nose pliers, you bend out this little tab a little bit so that you can easily take off your top. And we will get back to that in just a minute. But for right now, I'm going to pretend that I either don't have a smoker that has a tab like this, in other words, more of a real hinge, or that I'm simply unwilling at this point to take that step and make it so that the top comes off. So. If you want to clean out your smoker, I happen to have a carving knife because I like to carve things, but uh, this has the same configuration as a uh, grapefruit knife with a curved blade. And you can take the grapefruit knife and you can scrape and scrape and scrape. And if all you get out of this whole video is that, oh, wait a minute, I can do that with a grapefruit knife? Well, then you got something very useful out of the video because a grapefruit knife with a curved blade does a whole lot better job of scraping out the inside of that top. And I can take it off because I can. And you can see how quickly and easily you can reduce the thickness of that coating on the inside. I'm actually already down to the weld spots right there. But the reason I'm doing it this way is because I want to show you a use for this stuff. I'm all about recycling. What's in the jar is nothing more than plain tap water. Now you set that aside for a few days. There is no more sludge in the bottom of this than there is in there right now. In fact, there's probably less sludge here than we just put in there. And look at all that liquid. Now, it gets shaken up a few times and settled, and once it's well settled, you pour it off into another bottle so that you don't have any particulate sludge because you don't want to, you know, mess up your sprayer. At that point, it's up to you as an individual and what you find out with your bees because some bees are spicier than other bees. And you just pour some of this into there. This is about half full of water. Pour a bit of that. It's, it's a shame there's no smell of vision on YouTube, although on second thought there's probably a good idea that there's no smell of vision on YouTube. But give it a second to bring it up. Oh yeah. 
liquid smoke I don't know that I'd want to put this in my food but uh, as far as the treatment for bees it's a way to spray them down and uh, get it right out of the get them right out of your way in the smoker now as far as cleaning your whole smoker if you're willing to make that leap and bend that tab a little bit then all you have to do is instead of doing all that scraping and everything else you can take that nasty filthy thing and just drop it in a pail of water let it sit overnight in the morning come out and brush off all the loosened stuff i guarantee you won't really need a knife anymore to do it you can just take a stick and break off what's left from it now this is strictly water if you weren't interested in making liquid smoke then you could put a little bit of rubbing alcohol in that water and instead of merely getting the uh, uh, water soluble aspect of this stuff off you could also get some of the alcohol soluble aspect of it off easily wouldn't take much that's pretty much it I think you probably already know when it comes to cleaning a smoker your smoker is not clean if you haven't cleaned underneath your flat tray here I've been known to run five or six loads through the smoker and all of a sudden I'm not getting a very good air draft through there at all even though I emptied out the top of the smoker every time and then realized that all that ash underneath the uh, plate in there was just all accumulated and I was barely pushing any wind through anymore as far as in here well that gets hot enough down here that there's really no buildup it's up here where the cone is cool enough that you really get the buildup of tars and such uh, maintenance of your smoker otherwise before this smoker was used for the very first time I put an application needs foot oil on the leather and every now and then I come out and I put more neat's foot oil on the leather it's been five years and I'm noticing the first little crack in my leather right now so it'll be time before too much longer to uh, change out the bellows probably though I'll probably do a patch in the meantime because uh, there is flexible seal materials that can do that but maintenance is key and preventive maintenance is more important for instance, like I said, I put needs, I soaked this thing with Neatsfoot oil really well before I use it the first time because I know that this is where I, the, the bellows on a smoker is where it's going to fail first. And all you have to do is get a replacement. The four screws come out, you buy a replacement bellows, screw it on, you're good to go. But the longer you can make them last, the better. Wrap it up. So that's it for today. Have a great time. Bye-bye.